This is a hack tip, whatever you want to use. But you can get the ones that blow the paint off your car if you want. We had some coming into our attic. It was crazy. We, this will save you a lot of heartache and like disgusting interaction. And we've been RVing now for what, six years mm -hmm. or so. We're always looking to things that can make our life a little bit easier, that can enhance our RVing. So in this video, we're going to give you some RV hacks, some RV upgrades that we found over the years that have really made our RVing a lot easier. So the first one is something that we've used quite a few times when the weather has gotten colder and it helps us save money on propane. So what we've done, and it actually makes the coach really hot, almost too hot, is we started using space heaters. We have very small manageable space heaters we got off Amazon. They're very safe. They have you know different levels. What's great is if they move, they turn off immediately. Great reviews on these on Amazon. We'll put a link to this down below. It's in our Amazon store, but we use one out here here in the main living area and we'll put one in the bedroom and I'm telling you it gets brutally hot I guess you could say but it works really well we also uh, keep one if it's really really cold that we'll put one down in the bay yes. down below if we're not using our propane now you may be asking well why wouldn't you want to use propane well number one like MJ said the price number two is if we were using a propane furnace we'd probably have four to five days and then we'd have to refill again if you're on hookups mm -hmm. as long as you have electricity this will work right. obviously if you're not on hookups you have to use your propane so this is a very easy very inexpensive hack that's going to allow you to keep warm when it's cold out. The second upgrade slash hack that we have, and this is almost automatic for most RVs because the mattress on them is really terrible. We upgraded our RV mattress. So we recently upgraded our mattress, actually not recently, it's been at least a year and a half now, to RVmattress.com. Yeah, RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. They provide RV specific mattresses. They have all different types of size. And if you know uh, RVs, the mattresses are not really exactly like they are at home. What's really nice about them is they have all different types of mattresses so if you like a memory foam they have that if you like a hybrid with a spring and memory foam they have that if you like just spring you like firm soft medium they have all different types of mattresses right and we are going to have a huge discount for you on this so hang in there but the beautiful thing is they also have everything for homes too we have Jason a mattress for him in his bedroom at home they have cooling pillows weighted blankets sheets you name it just everything is really really good quality something really exciting for them is they won good housekeeping's 2023 family travel award so they named their mattress a top pick for having big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort yeah they're headquartered in the usa which is pretty awesome they offer a 120 night sleep trial which is always awesome because you don't know how you're going to like it although when you get it you will like it because we absolutely love ours they're very affordable they have low prices however just for the month of june and i think we're the only social media channel that has this if you go to rvmattress.com backslash endless and you follow the instructions on this It's very important follow the instructions put in your cell phone number you will receive a special discount code for 30% off right that's one of the highest discounts we've ever had normally it's 25% off this is only through June 30th of 2023 after that we don't know when they're going to offer another discount or if they're going to order an offer another discount so all that information will be in the link below go check them out make sure to follow the instructions when you go to rvmattress.com backslash endless so the next one, this is something that people actually comment on a lot. We got an email or a Facebook message about a week ago and this woman said they did something pulling into their spot and she's like, we immediately thought of you guys, you guys and you guys, I sound They like smashed big, the front of their big RV. Big time jersey, yes. Or back of it. Because they didn't use radios. And, we, and I said to her, I said, do you have radios? She's like, no, we've been meaning to get them. Guys, this is a hack tip, whatever you want to use. We never park without these. We got here yesterday and we parked within like sec like we have it down because we've done it so well. I was driving, Izzy was outside, he directed me in with the radios and it's, I see people all the time, there'll, there'll be somebody, <laughs> somebody outside and they're going like this in the window. It, it scares me because you can't really come, I mean, you can do it, I mean, many people do, yeah. but for us, you know, just getting those minute little changes like, you know, driver's side, mm -hmm. two inches or whatever, like it's able to really make parking easy. Right, a couple other advantages of these, these are Midlands, we'll put the link down below. These are pretty cheap, rechargeable batteries that go right in the cradle. They have a NOAA radio inside yeah. them also, so if we'll keep one on. You never know if there's gonna be a tornado in the area, like you'll get the weather alerts or if for whatever reason you wanna drive in snow and there's mm -hmm. gonna be snow, you'll know that. Another important thing, some people say, oh, we'll use our cell phones. Yeah, most of the time cell phones will work, but if you have no cell signal, you got no cell phones. Right. So this 
<laughs> this will always work. And, and the best thing is that sometimes we have fun and you might be on the same frequency that like somebody Other else people. in the campground. Even better is when it's the actual campground themselves and then you can kind of mess around with them. It's pretty we've, funny. We've had some yeah. fun with people with these. So say hello to my little friend or as they said it in Scarface, say hello to my little friend. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you might be knowing what this is, guys. This is just a, it's a leaf blower, a battery operated leaf blower. This is just a lithium ion one, a Walmart cheap. You can get the ones that blow the paint off your car if you want. This does its job. Why do we carry this? It's lightweight, super easy to load either in our car or in the RV. If you're in a place, I don't know if you can see around us right now. We're at a campground. I know there's some bell going off. I don't know what's going on here. But when we leave here, there's going to be all kind of debris on the top of our roof. And if it rains, there'll be all kind of wet stuff out there. What I do before we leave and before we close the slides is I just go up there and blow everything off. Now, we do have slide toppers and that for the most part keeps things off. However, we don't have slide toppers over one slide on our passenger side. And if it rains really hard, sometimes you'll get water on that slide. The last thing you want is be going down the road, you close your slide with water in it. If you move, guess where that water is going? It's going on you and it's happened to us already. So take the time guys, just go up there, blow, super easy, this is super light. We'll put a link to one below or you can go to Walmart, everything will be down below. So we're out camping right now. MJ was just making a comment how many chipmunks we've seen. A Those lot. little a disgusting rodents. <laughs> but you know, one of the things when you get an RV, especially almost every manufactured RV, there's gaps and there's mm -hmm. holes. And what you don't want is anything from the outside getting inside, rodents, birds, bugs, whatever. So one of the first things we do, the first thing we do on our last RV and on this one is we go seal up all the holes. Right, and we have yet in six years to get a mouse. Yeah, and we live in, a, in the forest and there's mice. We do. So where we are, this campground we are right now is in New Jersey, but it's pretty much like our, our yeah. home. So we plug all the holes with steel wool. We'll use this. You could also we, use copper if you want, it doesn't right, matter. Right, right. And this is really important. You'll see this all over our RV. If you look into deep spaces, this is a foam sealant. So there's literally nowhere Not that, that, I know that of. we know of that these things are gonna be able to enter. Yeah, so a little bit of a secret, a good way to do it is at night, you wanna turn all the lights on inside your RV, go outside, if you see any light coming through, mm -hmm. probably a hole. Anywhere there's connections, like water lines, there's always mm -hmm. gonna be a space there. You want to plug all those spaces, go underneath, plug any spaces. It's not only gonna be losing air, you will get something in there and, and rodents are extremely destructive. You will have a big problem. They'll eat up wires. And extremely Shit everywhere, small, it's pretty bad. Sorry, I said that. Small to squeeze into the tiniest spaces. Like mice can get through the tiniest little space. Yeah, we, so. we had some coming into our attic through a tiny little space in our foundation, and we were catching like five, six up in the couple attic, of days. Yeah. It was crazy. We kind of eliminated that problem, but yeah, they're a real headache. Now, the next one is really important, and it's something that we've learned the hard way quite a few times, actually. Thanks, thanks for um, Coach, Coach Nat. Nat. <laughs> yes. And this hack, upgrade, whatever you'd like to call it, has been a godsend to us. So for years, we had a key to open our RV like, mm. like most people do. But a really good tip for you for that is to make sure that you always keep an extra key either in the vehicle that you have along with you, if mm -hmm. you're towing a vehicle, or find something underneath to keep, you know, like a magnetic type yep. of thing that adheres to your RV so you can keep an extra key that way. But we also have something new now that we have installed that has answered all our prayers. Right, so a recent upgrade. The only reason it took so long because this wasn't available for years. So RV lock dot com they make uh, custom powered RV locks and they have they've had it for trails and fifth wheels forever they finally came out with the atlas for class a motorhomes and it is a you put a pin in here you make your own pin they also have the remote which is available so if i click on the remote it'll lock but basically i just put my pin in and that locks it so we don't have to carry a key but if we decide to carry a key we also have the remote we'll put all their information down in the description below. Let's talk about poop, specifically your poop. So we're gonna go over to where our release valves are for our black tank and gray. Now we've talked about this on other videos, but here, standard, you won't have this piece on here. We're gonna talk about this piece in a minute, but you'll have, there'll be a cap right here. Here is your black tank, which is your sewage. Here's your gray tank pole. And whatever would happen is when I would take that cap off, they'd always be juice. There's always a little bit of leakage coming out. But what we did, we added this extra valve tara and it just screws right on and it gives you an extra valve. This does two things. Number one, you don't get that disgusting juice. Number two is that it's an extra safety. So say I just pull this and pull this and I'm not expecting, or better yet, that's happened to us, we dump and we wind up not closing these 
and then the next time you have a big pile when you unscrew this. This extra valve, it's like 16 bucks. It's completely worth it. This will save you a lot of heartache and like disgusting interaction with what goes on in well, those yeah, tanks. I mean, you've gotten juice on you. I haven't, but that was not fun. This has completely solved that. We'll put the link down below. All right, for our next hack, we have some of our good friends here. You probably know them if you watch our channel. This is Pierre and Laurel from Blue Ox RV Inspection. They have an amazing YouTube channel, which we will link up above or down below. And we're gonna talk water in your RV. So a lot of people don't even realize how much water they have in their RV in terms of humidity. So in the shower, for example, whenever we are running, um, if we're cooking, if we, well, we don't have laundry, but you guys have washer and dryer. This is all creating moisture in your RV. So we're gonna let them talk about how they handle their moisture and then we'll talk about the right way. <laughs> the right way, <laughs> <Jared>. yes. <laughs> What do you think she asked us? So we use the damp rid bags. One of the places that we put this is right here in the washing and dryer area. So as you can see, this has been there for about a week. That's quite a bit of moisture that it's collected so far. We also use one in our bathroom. So come on in here and see this one. This has been two weeks and it's almost completely full. Now, I always turn on the fan and try to get that moisture out, but as you can see, these damp red packets, they really do collect it. And that's what it looks like when it's new, right? So that's a lot of moisture. A couple of weeks later, this is what it looks like. And it says, follow the line. Well, she should be changing the bag now. Now for the right way. <laughs> now these guys are full timers. So we do something a little bit different. We're not full timers, but we use a, a dehumidifier. So we use that at home when it's plugged in, we have the dehumidifier going and that sucks a ridiculous amount of moisture. When we pull that drawer out and dump it, I mean, Daily. yeah, you could swim in it basically. So it's amazing how much moisture the RV actually does hold. So th those are just a few upgrades hacks, very common for RVers. There's many out there and they can be very specific to what your needs are. So in the comments below, let us know what are your favorite RV hacks, your favorite RV upgrades, because we like to know these things. And this is just a little bit of what we've done, but more importantly, other RVers like it also. And then to the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our RV DIY playlist, we'll put our RV newbie playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.